Boom. The clock tower has gone. Boom. The queen pier has gone. Cried no, the, the no, protesters. No, no, no. Last year, there were so many heritage which has been damaged by the government, such as queen pier and the clock tower. Even community say no to the government, and even went hangers rise for a few days and organized them. People say that Hong Kong is a desert of culture. Is it true? Is it necessary for us to keep the heritage for our own culture? However, their efforts were futile. The heritage sites were soon replaced by skyscrapers, sophisticated malls, and my Bob Green office buildings. As Hong Kongers, are you proud of them? Many people say that Hong Kong is a desert of culture, and Hong Kong people have no words because we never treasure the old stuff. Everything is new, new, and new. In this documentary, we will look into another endangered heritage food store of Hong Kong, Dai Pai Dong, which is fast disappearing in different corners of Hong Kong. Do we keep this kind of food store or this kind of special catering style? Or should we replace them with another fast food restaurant? Hong Kongers, think again. Have you ever been dining in this type of If no, I'm sure your mom and dad must be familiar with this kind of dining. Probably, your parents have grown up with Thai Pai Dongs. They came to them to enjoy very yummy but affordable meals. They came here to chit chat with their fellow neighbors, work partners, and even family after one day's work. They came here to share their happiness and unhappiness with friends. The atmosphere in Thai Pai Dongs was always lively, friendly, and carefree. The waiters, owners, and even the cooks were all familiar faces and old friends of the neighborhood. People could put on their masks at work and laugh their heart out in this very special place. Sadly, these Thai Pai Dongs are like other heritage in Hong Kong. They are going to extinct it. Why? It is all because of the government's policy. The government stopped issuing new license to vendors. Official reasons? Only one. The Dai Pai Dongs are not clean enough. Real reasons? Hong Kong is a world class city. We only need new and modern restaurants. The dirty and old Thai Pai Dongs is an insult to of us. They are like a stain in our beautiful face. Up to now, there are less than 30 Thai Pai Dongs in Hong Kong. We can find them in Wong Tai Sin, Temple Street, and Samson Hall. So, with such a stringent policy, there is no room for the Dai Pai Dongs to survive. All this will soon be gone in a few years' time. Do you feel sad? Or are you on the side of the government? Okay, let's ask some owners and patrons of Dai Pai Dongs. Of course, keep it. Yes, we should keep it. Yes, keep it. I disagree with the removal of Dai Pai Dong. It is worth keeping it. Not only is it unique, but also no other restaurants can replace it. If all the Dai Pai Dongs are closed, the employees will lose their job. It will absolutely affect their livelihood. What's more, it is one of the collective memories of Hong Kong. Singapore is also a city full of street food stores. Isn't Singapore a world-class city? You may have died in many five-star hotels. You may have been to ten fusion restaurants. You may have tried new case. You may also have had more char fan and char meal than you can handle. But you, you have never eaten at a Dai Pai Dong. You have never had real Hong Kong food. Many of my friends said the fast food shops have replaced the Dai Pai Dongs. They are more hygienic and offer meals with comparatively cheap prices. They have put in a lot of lower income customers who used to frequent the roadside eateries. Yet, 
I still prefer to enjoy chit chat with friends and views in Da Pai Dong. As here is open air, I can talk loudly, laugh loudly, and drink lots of beer. The atmosphere here is more lively, and I don't have to bother table manners or social etiquette. That's something the McDonald or KFC can't offer. Of course, I hope the government can give new license to Dai Pai Dong vendors. I like Dai Pai Dongs because I can find my childhood memories here. On my mom and dad's birthday, on the day I was accepted to university, on the day my uncle and aunt visited us, we all came here to enjoy the meals and a good laugh. It's not the dim sum tea houses. I recall my parents taking me to, but here, I die pie down. We will come here again. Why not? I think uh, um, for uh, for a typical tourist, uh, we are, um, and we are uh, we came here, and we we are not too anxious to eat here. Um, it, it's a uh, it's a really good impression for us how the uh, local people um, are trained to eat. After World War II came to an end in 1945, the colonial Hong Kong government issued special licenses to families, which some of the family members are deceased and injured. The government allows them to operate food stores in public for earning a living. This kind of license was so larger than the ones normally issued. Therefore, this kind of food stores was jokingly named Dai Pai Dong, which means big license by the locals. The characteristic of Dai Pai Dongs are its green green steel kitchen and tidy as all filled with the air conditioning, as well as a variety of low price great pork head dishes. It provides cheap everyday food such as congee, rice and noodles to the general public of humble income, appeared in as early as the late 19th century in Hong Kong. After listening to the patrons and vendors of the Dai Pai Dong, we have a clear picture that most of us would like to keep the Dai Pai Dongs. We have already taken this kind of eateries as a part of our local culture, a kind of local favor and part of collective memories of many Hong Kongers. To many Hong Kongers, Dai Pai Dong is a place to socialize. The patrons are free to talk loudly. Whether everybody can hear others remains a question. In the lively Dai Pai Dongs, you don't have to bother table manners and social etiquette. The open air atmosphere simply allows you to enjoy a hearty meal and a hearty laugh. To us, a city so is more clear than the buildings, even old and memorable ones, as many of the patrons and vendors. We don't know the technical definition of Dai Pai Dong, but we know that it will be a sad day when no one ever has morning coffee and toast on a small round table near the coop. The fast food chains, McDonald's, Cafe Decoros can never